Yesterday marked the first anniversary of the historic first ever Starship flight last year. Today, let's delve into the current developments at Starbase. Since Starship's last flight in March, the launch site has undergone several upgrades. Crews have replaced the booster quick disconnect hood, damaged during IFT-3. We've also observed efforts to replace or modify the hold down clamps on the orbital launch mount. Significant changes and improvements have been made to the chopstick arms since the last flight. These arms, integral to the launch tower, are designed to catch both the booster and the ship for forthcoming missions. One key change is the replacement of an actuator in one of the arms, potentially allowing the chopsticks to open and close more quickly a crucial improvement for future missions involving catching returning vehicles. SpaceX has also been testing and refining the speed of the arms operations, demonstrating continued efforts to enhance their functionality and reliability. SpaceX has been scrapping vertical tanks to pave the way for new infrastructure, including preparations for a second launch tower. This process has been ongoing, with the shell of tank 1 of 2 being removed recently. This shift suggests SpaceX may be moving towards a different propellant storage system or design, possibly utilizing more off-the-shelf horizontal tanks. SpaceX has set its sights on Monday, April 22 at 6.40 p.m. Eastern Time for the launch of its 41st mission of the year. On Thursday, the company achieved its 40th successful mission of the year with a launch of the Starlink 652 mission from SLC-40 in Florida. Three, two, one, it just full power, and liftoff, go Falcon, go Starlink. As of today, SpaceX maintains an impressive launch cadence, averaging a launch every 2.8 days this year. That concludes today's episode. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay tuned and don't miss out on the exciting developments and updates from SpaceX.